Wild Card. Brought to you by Bob Mills Furniture. Here's the host of Wild Card, Ed Murray. And welcome to Wild Card, a game of chance, a game of knowledge on just about everything that could earn our contestants thousands of dollars in great prizes. Tonight, Tim is back for his second opportunity, $250 already from Bob Mills. Tim is from Norman, here to stop him. We have Jennifer, farther from me, she is from Mustang. In the middle is Zach, he is from Oklahoma City, I believe, he is indeed. All right, the rules are quite simple. Correct answers earn points, incorrect answers lose points. Point values do increase in each round, and if our players select a wild card, point values double for that particular question. We have a new card in the deck. It's the Joker. He can give points. He can take them away. The final round includes one 400-point question and a decision to play or pass using that final wild card. It determined the winner last time as Tim had to have the plus 2,500 wild card. He had it, one by 300. Tim, you're back for a second opportunity. We're going to ask you to get us started. Zach and Jennifer, we have a five-minute round, 14 questions. Whichever comes first. Good luck. Have fun. Hands on the buzzers. Tim, what card gets us started? Seven of spades. Seven of spades is arts. This statue, designed by Frederick Bartoldi, was a gift to the United States from the people. Zach. Statue of Liberty. Yes, I'm the first person to give a Frenchman an Italian-sounding name. Zach, 100, the Statue of Liberty, dedicated 1886. Pick a card, sir. Uh, Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts is a wild card. 200 points for this question. Whoever gets it right will be the early leader. Movies. Who directed Jaws? Zach. Steven Spielberg. 1975, three Oscars, but uh, it lost out for Picture of the Year. Zach, 300 points. Pick a card. King of Diamonds. The King of Diamonds is history. Who invented the printing press? The printing press. 1440, Johann Gutenberg is the inventor. Zach at 300, you still have control of the board. Pick a card. Ace of Hearts. The Ace of Hearts is music for 100 points. This collegiate term is usually applied to the second album released by recording artists. Zach. Sophomore. Their sophomore album, album number two. I wonder if their third album is the junior album. I don't know. Zach, 400. Uh, pick a card. Three of Diamonds. The Three of Diamonds is a wild card. Okay, for this wild card, our category is literature for 200 points. Who wrote the short novel, Heart of Darkness, upon which the film Apocalypse Now was inspired? Heart of Darkness. He also wrote Lord Jim, Joseph Conrad. 1899 was when that work came out. All right, our last uh, correct response, Zach, was sophomore. Pick a card. Um, Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs is geography. This salt lake borders Israel and Jordan. Salt Lake borders Israel and Jordan. It's 8.6 times saltier than the ocean, the Dead Sea. So nothing really much lives in it. Zach, you still have control of the board. Pick a card. Three of Hearts. Three of Hearts. You can float in it real easily, though. Uh, science is our category behind the Three of Hearts. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize for her research on radioactivity. Tim. Madam Curie. Madam Curie. She's the only woman also to win two Nobel Prizes, one in physics, one in chemistry. Tim on the board now with 100 points. Pick a card. Ten of Diamonds. The Ten of Diamonds is miscellaneous. Originally part of Central European folklore, they now appear in horror stories as undead who feed. Tim. Zombies. And that's incorrect. Who feed on blood. Jennifer. Vampires. The vampires are from the European folklore uh, back thousands of years, but the modern version is really based on the 1897 novel of Bram Stoker. Jennifer, on the board at 100, pick a card. Six of diamonds. Six of diamonds are in the news. Subscribers to UK newspapers, The Times and Sunday Times, were offered a year's free membership to this online music streaming service. Zach. Spotify. Spotify. Everyone uh, reading those newspapers uh, up for that. Zach at 500. You have a 400 point lead over Jennifer. Pick a card. Queen of Diamonds. The Queen of Diamonds is an instant winner, sir. You have a $25 gift card to the House Smith Restaurant Group. And that is yours to keep no matter what happens. All right? Math is the category. What word describes a number system with a base of two? Tim. Binary. The binary system is what we are looking for. You're back on the board with 100. Pick a card. 
Jack of Clubs. The Jack of Clubs is television. Which BBC music program was broadcast weekly between 1964 and 2006? Jennifer. Soul Train. That's incorrect. <laughs> Although I think Soul Train's better than this show. But <laughs> <laughs> Top of the Pops is what it's called. I don't pick up the BBC at my house, but uh, anyway. Binary Tim, you have control of the board. Pick a card. Three of Spades. Three of Spades is AKA, also known as Archibald Alexander Leach, was the name of this legend of the silver screen. He appeared in four Hitchcock films, including North by Northwest. Archibald Alexander Leach. <coughs> Cary Grant is who that was. North by Northwest. Tim, you still have control of the board. King of Hearts. King of Hearts. This will be the final question of this round. Sports is the category. Three NFL teams have won the Super Bowl game at least five times. Tim. Pittsburgh Steelers. I need more information. San Francisco 49ers. That is what we were looking for because the question ended the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Dallas Cowboys, and this team. So the 49ers are correct. Tim at 200, but Zach, you are the leader at 500 points. Tim at 200. Jennifer, right where you started? But that can change very quickly in the next round because we're going to double the point values. Stay with us on America's Game Show Wild Card. Get into something good like Brahms S'mores Sunday. Get into something good. Crunchy graham cracker crumbles, two big dips of Brahms premium chocolate ice cream, lots of rich hot fudge, and creamy marshmallow. Add more graham crackers, whipped cream, and a cherry. Now you've got something good. A double dip s'more sundae. No campfire required. Only at your neighborhood Brahms. Get into something good. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay, are everywhere. Ooh, they're making another minimum payment. Great. Most of the money goes to us. We'll suck the life out of them. Because your credit card rates are so high, you can't get rid of the debt suckers alone. Their minimum payments are in vain. Oh, that's juicy. But one call to Consolidated Credit can get the debt suckers off your neck. Thank you for calling Consolidated Credit. Oh, no. They're low for his rates and consolidate his bills into one low payment. He'd pay off his debt in no time. Consolidated credit drives us batty. Call Consolidated Credit now. Call now and get your life back. Oh, because debt sucks. Call now. Call Consolidated Credit at 1-800-983-4772. 1-800-983-4772. That's 1-800-983-4772. Call now. We get it. Your time equals money. And if you can't get to work, you can't get paid. Why would you want to stay all day at a dealership? We hear you loud and clear, Oklahoma. Now you can shop from work or home. Just visit us at thekeyonline.com and complete our easy online application. It usually takes about 15 minutes. Once you're approved, you can select your vehicle from our online inventory and we'll have it waiting for you. And don't worry about bad credit financing. We do that too. The Key. Cars. Loans. Life. Next house. You have a crisis. I can get you out of here. A dying patient. Well, it's already in. A dying friendship. We're not friends anymore. Who or what will survive? You break the law, you go back to jail. Dr. House, welcome back. Is there cake? House. Your discretion advised. Tonight at 7 on my network TV. This is Republic of Doyle. You're a disaster. You have issues with authority. You're an emotional train wreck with behavioral disorders. You're a wonderful father. I'm a private investigator. He's a private dick. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, Doyle, you got yourself a situation here. I would do exactly what he says. Republic of Doyle. Tonight at 9 on my KSBI. And welcome back to Wild Card, our returning champ, Tim, in second place right now is Zach the Challenger. Good first round, 500 points. Tim, though, right there, 200. Jennifer has uh, zero at this point, but that can change with one question in the next round. Jennifer, tell us a bit more about you. I'm from Mustang. I have two kids that are in uh, middle school and elementary and married, and I'm uh, 
glad to be here playing. Well, thank you. And let me guess, your children play soccer. They both play wow, soccer. Wow, just uh, right they there. I, just, yeah. <laughs> I love the shirt. Uh, Zach, tell us a bit more about you. Uh, I'm from Oklahoma City, and I'm a student at the Academy of Contemporary Music. Outstanding. That's a wonderful place. Great music and uh, great work there by all the students. Tim, uh, it can't, you had one card in the deck on that wild card, so you get it with the questions. Uh, what was that experience like, waiting for that thing to flip around? Oh, I'll tell you what. I was nervous. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Mario was probably the best champion I'd seen, and it, I probably would have done the same thing he did by holding. Well, that's where the game of chance comes in, but again, we're going to try a little knowledge here. Another round of five minutes, 14 questions, whichever comes first. Jennifer, you're in third place, so we're going to ask you to begin this round for us. Pick a card, and good luck, everyone. Four of hearts. The Four of Hearts is literature. What evocative poem by Samuel Coleridge tells us of an exotic emperor who dwells in his stately pleasure dome? Zach. Ozymandias. That's incorrect. Dwells in his stately dome in Xanadu. The work, the poem of Samuel Coleridge. The Emperor of the Kublai Khan was the name of that work, 1978. By the way, he wrote that under the influence of an opiate. So it's an interesting point. Uh, Jennifer, you still have control of the board. Pick a card. Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds. Arts. In what country was Vincent Van Gogh born? Van Gogh. The Netherlands, or Holland, 1853, lived just 37 years. Jennifer, find a card in a subject we like. Six of Clubs. Let's try the Six of Clubs, a.k.a. also known as... Elizabeth Woolridge Grant released her debut single, Video Games, under this stage name. Zach. Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey. Yes, the musician gets out. With. By the way, she describes herself as gangsta Nancy Sinatra. Zach is a student of music. Can you explain that one to me? I cannot. Good, thank you. I thought I was uh, lost there. Zach, 500 points. Pick a card. Uh, Jack of Hearts. Gangsta Nancy Sinatra. Math behind that uh, card. What letter corresponds to the horizontal axis on a geometric Zach. Why? That is incorrect. Tim. X. Yeah, the other one. X. Uh, it's the horizontal. So X, uh, Tim, get you up to 400 and you now take the lead by 100 over Zach. Pick a card, Tim. Two of hearts. Two of hearts. Instant winner. And this is a $25 gift card to Who Hot Mongolian Grill in Quell Springs Mall. Hope you enjoy your dinner there. Music. Watch Street in Memphis, Tennessee. Tim. Beal. is famous for its blues music. Beal, the Bill Street Music Festival in May. 600 points for Tim. Pick a card. Five of hearts. Five of hearts is in the news. A planned boxing match between George Zimmerman and this rapper, Zach. DMX. Was canceled in February 2014. DMX, the promoter, pulled out of the match. Zach now within 100 of Tim. Good match going. Pick a card, Zach. Seven of clubs. Seven of clubs is sports. Jesse Owens' world record in which track and field event stood from 1935 until 1960? Tim. 100 meters. That's incorrect. Jennifer. Hurdles? That is incorrect. Zach, you want to take a shot at that event? It was the long jump that lasted until 1960. In 1935, when he set that world record, he set three world records in a span of 45 minutes in uh, two runs in the long jump. All right, DMX, Zach, get you another card. Two of spades. The two of spades is uh, miscellaneous here. A, N, and V. A, A, N, and V are all what? Zach, articles. they're all articles, words that are used to introduce a noun. That's hard to say, it's easier to read. Zach, 700 points, pick a card. Eight of hearts. The eight of hearts is history. In what war between England and France did Joan of Arc participate? What was the name of that war? I'm sorry, that, uh, I guess the buzzer, no one buzzed in? Uh, the 100 Years War was the name of that war, uh, 1430 area. All right, uh, articles, Zach, get you another card. Seven of Hearts. The Seven of Hearts is business. This organization is made up of about a dozen nations that sell oil to other, Tim. OPEC. To other nations, organization of petroleum exporting countries that are around since 1960. Tim, you're within 100 of Zach. Back and forth we go, pick a card. Nine of spades. Nine of spades is television. Before he was James Bond, Pierce Brosnan 
portrayed a spy, Tim. Remington Steele. On this television show, Remington Steele from 1982 to 1987, finally was able to become Bond in 1995. Tim, you take the lead now by 100. Pick a card. Five of clubs. Five of clubs is science. Water freezes at 32 degrees and boils. Zach. 212 degrees. That is incorrect. I can finish the question. Up, oh, Tim. 100 degrees. Uh, no, that's incorrect. Xander, I can't finish the question. Water freezes 32 degrees, boils at 212 in this temperature scale. Zach, you've already buzzed in on this question, so it's up to Jennifer. She's the only one that hasn't. Buzz if you want to. Jennifer? Fahrenheit. The Fahrenheit, I know. Zach, that one, an early buzzer got you there. Jennifer, you're out of negative, though. So you have control of the board. Pick a card. Six of Hearts. Six of Hearts is movies. The 1924 Olympics were the setting for this British historical drama. Tim. Chariots of Fire. Won 1981 Academy Award Best Picture, Chariots of Fire. Far? Chariots of Fire. <laughs> Not exactly how they said it over there. Tim, with that answer, you take the lead. 800 points. Zach at 500. Jennifer, you got out of negative. Good way to start round three, where a wild card is worth 600 points. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more wild card after these messages. But in the meantime, play along at home by visiting our Facebook page. And if you think you've got what it takes to play wild card, just visit our website, fill out the registration form, and we'll notify you of upcoming open auditions. More in game excitement after the break. I'm a salesperson, so I know you sometimes try to avoid me. You think I only see you as a commission. Well, guess what? I'm a Bob Mills salesperson. I'm commission free. So relax. When you shop Bob Mills, you're hassle free. Because I'm commission free. I'm Bob Mills, and when you said no more shopper stalkers, we became the only furniture store to give you hassle-free shopping. Look all you like, and when you want help, just ask. Commission-free, hassle-free shopping, only at Bob Mills. Ingalls Shipbuilding is hiring electricians, structural welders, machinists, ship fitters, pipe fitters, and pipe welders in our Pascagoula, Mississippi site. Signing bonuses available for pipe welders only. Positions are union represented. Come build your career with Ingalls Shipbuilding. Go to www.huntingtonengles.com slash careers or call 888-935-1507. Does being over 40 make you feel like half the man you used to be? Introducing Ageless Male. A life-changing supplement for men. Test it to help increase testosterone levels. You'll notice a boost in your energy levels. Workouts work. Sex life improves. It's like a light switch goes on. Why not increase your testosterone? Get Ageless Male now. Risk-free. Call 1-800-729-1136. That's 1-800-729-1136. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? Hi, I'm George Foreman. People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can provide patent referrals and submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee your company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-460-0549. That's 1-800-460-0549. Next time on Oklahoma Live, Emily Faith performs on our live stage and Jason Black comes in to review movies and tell us about an awards show he went to in Texas. We'll see it for us. Welcome back to Wild Card. We've got a back and forth match. Everybody's still in this one. Tim, our returning champ, has 800. Zach at 500. Jennifer at zero. But wild card, 600 points. Zoom you right into second. If you get one of those right off the bat, you are in third, Jennifer. So we're going to ask you to get us started. Four minutes, 11 questions, whichever comes first. Jennifer. Two of diamonds. The two of diamonds is sports. How many players from each team take the field in a World Cup soccer game? Tim. From each team is yes. 11. 11 from each team. You can be as few as seven, but uh, that would be stupid. Uh, Tim, 1,100 points. Pick a card. Queen of Spades. Queen of Spades is music. 
Who sang the words, this is ground control to Major Tim? David Bowie. This is ground control to Major Tom. Opening line for the 1969 Space Oddity by Bowie. So, Tim, up to 1,400. Pick a card. Ten of hearts. The Ten of hearts is science. This happens twice a year when the lengths of day and night are equal. Tim. Equinox. Equinox. It's when the sun crosses the plane of the Earth's equator. That uh, they have the same time of day and night. Tim, on a roll here at 1,700 points, pick a card. Jack of spades. Jack of spades is geography. This line of zero degrees longitude passes through Greenwich, England. Zero degrees of longitude. Tim. International Dateline. That is incorrect. That's the one on the other side. Jennifer. The equator. That is incorrect. That one goes around the center. Zach. Prime Meridian is what the zero longitude is. But Tim, the equinox gets you another card, sir. Queen of Clubs. Queen of Clubs. Television. Mayberry RFD was a spinoff from what other Tim? The Andy Griffith Show. From the other TV series, the Andy Griffith Show, RFD stood for Rural Free Delivery. Tim, it's 1,700. You have a 1,200-point lead. Pick a card. Nine of Clubs. The Nine of Clubs is in the news. The 1980 Winter Olympic Hockey Game between the U.S. and the Soviet Union is better known as what? Tim. Miracle on Ice. USA won 4-3, to three, but that's only the semifinals. They had to beat Finland to win the gold a couple of days later. Tim, at an even 2,000 points, pick a card. King of Clubs. The King of Clubs is A.K.A. Julia Elizabeth Wells is the real name of this Mary Poppins actress. Tim. Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews was born Julia Wells, won her only Oscar for that 64 movie. Tim at 2,300 points. Pick a card. Six of Spades. Six of Spades is literature. What novel by Louisa May Alcott is about four sisters? Tim. Little Women. Growing up in New England in the 19th century, Joe, Beth, Amy, and Meg, the March sisters of Little Women. Tim, pick a card. Nine of Diamonds. The Nine of Diamonds is a wild card. Here we go. Though not they're ever going to show up. 600 points. Jennifer, get you out of that negative column if you get it. Arts, the category. What American artist is best known for the exploding plastic inevitable and his paintings of Campbell's soup cans? Tim. Andy Warhol. He also painted Coca-Cola bottles and hamburgers. One of the great pop art artists. Tim, at 3,200, pick a card. King of Spades. King of Spades is business. What kind of tax takes a higher percentage of low incomes than high ones. A tax that takes a higher percentage of the low incomes than the high ones. Called a regressive tax as opposed to the progressive tax. Tim, control the board. Ace of spades. The ace of spades in the middle is math. What is pi to the third decimal? Pi to the third decimal. Judge? Yes, Tim? Seven. That is incorrect. Zach or Jennifer, you have to go to the third decimal on this one. It's 3.141 or 2, depending on the rounding. All right, that ends uh, that uh, round. It brings us to our wild card round. Tim at 2,900, Zach at 500, Jennifer unfortunately in the negative column. So you and I are going to watch the guys battle this one out here. Wild card on the board behind the letters. We have values. From bus to add 2,500, double your points, flip them back over, shuffle the deck. Tim, you're the leader. What letter would you like? W. You'll take the W. Zach, what letter? I'll take R. Take the R. We have one final question. The category is movies. We'll ask that question when we return here on Wildcard. Stay with us. Uh-oh. You're behind the wheel, and the sun is so bright, you're blinded by the light and can't see a thing. Your visor doesn't stop it, so you dare to drive right into the glare. Stop blinding sun and dangerous glare with Easy View XT, the amazing fast flip-down glare blocker that blocks sun glare in a split second. Just slide Easy View XT onto any visor, and that's it. It stays sure and secure, no tools or assembly required. With just a flip, you've got the sun and glare neutralizing protection you need at your fingertips. Traditional car sun visors block your view and impede your vision. Easy View XT is made of clear acrylic that you can see right through with a perfect tint to diffuse light and glare so you can keep the road ahead in clear view.
view. Look, morning sun makes it impossible to see, but you always have a clear view with Easy View XT. With late afternoon glare, you can't see what's ahead, but with Easy View XT, you'll be amazed at what you'll see instead. It even reduces glare from oncoming headlights at night. I drive my kids from school every afternoon directly into the sun, but now with Easy View XT, I can actually see and keep my family safe. I drive nearly 100 miles each day for work. And with EasyView XT, I never have to squint into the sun. With EasyView XT, I'm a lot more comfortable and confident behind the wheel. I won't even put my rig in gear without my EasyView XT in it. Stop squinting and gazing into the sun and glare. Get the EasyView XT glare blocker so you can actually see. And right now it's yours for just $10. Whether it's early morning sun, blinding afternoon light, or diffusing headlight glare at night, you'll use EasyView XT driving everywhere. And there there's more. Order right now and we'll double the offer and send a second EasyView XT for the passenger side. And it's yours free. Just pay separate processing and handling. You get two EasyView XT glare blockers, a $30 value for just $10. Here's how to order. To order, call 1-800-478-3181. That's 1-800-478-3181 or go to EasyViewXT.com. Order now. KSBI 52 airs educational and informational programs for children every week. In today's world, it's more important than ever for parents to monitor their children's TV viewing. Every time you see this symbol, you'll know the program is considered educational and informational to young viewers. Our public file, political file, and children's program reports are available for public viewing during regular business hours, Monday through Friday at 9802 North Morgan Road in Yukon, Oklahoma. Thanks for watching KSBI 52. Doug's favorite cologne has Carrie infused. I love your mouth. That cologne is swinging a miss. Mouth. Now, Carrie's getting some spray back. You look nice. You know what? I feel like I'm losing a little height here. <laughs> I can't see. Next, King of Queens. You look like a Van Halen groupie. You used so much hairspray, we couldn't light a match for a week. It was like... <laughs> Tonight at 10 on KSBI 52. Welcome back. We have one final question in this game. It's worth 400 points. As uh, Tim at 2,900, Zach at 500, and Jennifer again. We're going to cheer them on. Okay, here we go. Movies is the category. You'll have 20 seconds to write down your response once I finish. Who won an Academy Award for Best Actor in 1994 and again in 1995 for the films Philadelphia and Forrest Gump? Good luck. Back-to-back -back Oscars for Best Actor, Philadelphia and Forrest Gump. Everybody done? All right. Zach at 500 points. Reveal your answer. The actor in 94 and 95 who was the Best Actor winner, Tom Hanks. Obviously a great actor. What a run he had in the, the mid-90s. Been nominated five times. Has won a couple. Tim, 29, you wrote down very quickly. Once I think said Forrest Gump, you had Tom Hanks. So there you are. Zach, we look at the board. You have the R, you have 900 points, you want to play or hold it? I'll play. Got to play it. Tim, at 3,300, you are going to pass. And uh, behind the R, what do we have? Yeah, it's been that kind of day. So uh, behind the W, had you played it, it was a bust. Ironically, you still would have won with that. But uh, again, Tim, at 3,300, you are the champion. Well done. It is a game of chance and a game of knowledge. The knowledge paid off for you this time. Last time, it was the chance that came through. So you're a two-time champion. Another $250 from Bob Mills Furniture. You're coming back to try to make it a third opportunity. Zach and Jennifer, we hope you had a good time. We love having you here on Wild Card. If you'd like to be a contestant on Wild Card, visit our website, ksbitv.com. Here's some information there for you to fill out. We'll let you know when the next audition is. Also, if you'd like to be in our studio audience, love to have you. Just give KSBI a call, and we'll make those arrangements. We invite you to follow us on Twitter and play along with us at home on Facebook. Thanks to our sponsors, and thank you for watching Wildcard. So long, everyone. That's how it goes. Wildcard is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Bob Mills Furniture, Platt College, and Hal Smith Restaurants.